Hi guys, today's video might be a little bit unexpected and not something that you guys thought that I was going to review. And I'll be honest, I didn't think that I was going to review this, but I got a package from Wet n Wild the other day. I have been on Wet n Wild's PR list for quite some time, but they don't always send out like the full collections of things. Usually it's like new products, like mascaras and brow products. I do tend to get those, but when it comes to full collections with like eyeshadow palettes and stuff like that, I don't really receive a lot of those. I've gotten a few of them, uh, but yeah, today we're gonna be trying out, if, if it seems like I'm sitting a little too far away, is because I have a big box here <laughs> and I wanna try to show it to you because I got the Saved by the Bell uh, collection from Wet n Wild. It comes in this cute little box. You can buy this whole box for $70. I haven't really opened anything inside. I wanted to show you how it came packaged. So it looks like a kind of a locker. Now I do have to say that I don't even know what Saved by the Bell is and <laughs> Maybe a lot of you guys are gonna laugh at me, but I didn't grow up in the States So a lot of the TV shows and a lot of the collapse and collections that have come out lately I just I'm not familiar with so I don't know anything about this I'm not going to understand any of the references But I do think it's really cool that brands are doing collapse like this with things that are nostalgic to a lot of people I think that, that is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this We're gonna take a look inside see everything that is in here We're gonna try it out and I'm just excited because it's just fun to try out full collections of things. So let me try to not make a complete mess here trying to open this. Uh, this is easier said than done. Okay, so here is what everything looks like and how it comes packaged. So we have some face duos up here. We have, uh, what is this? It looks like a highlighter and a blush. Then we have two blushes and a bronzer and a blush. That's kind of what I was hoping for. This might actually just be two blushes. So maybe I do have to put on some bronzer because I don't have anything on yet. There's also three lip kits, which comes with, I think a lip liner and a lip plumping gloss. There is the eyeshadow palette. We're gonna take a closer look at all of these things after. There's a brush here. There's a makeup bag. Uh, three of these lip kits, a setting spray and a mascara. So I'm gonna take off this out uh, kind of unwrap it and then I will show you you know more of a close-up of all of these items before we try them okay let's go ahead and try out some of these products so I think I'm going to start with lips I'm going to start with this lip set here it did come with three different ones I'm personally not someone who is really into lip plumping products so I'm deciding not to swatch the other two sets or use the other two sets because I don't see myself reaching for a lip plumping product on a regular basis. And so I would rather just keep them new so that I can give them away since they are lip products. But I am going to test this one out. So this is the one in the shade or named Jessie. So we're gonna start with the lip liner. I did swatch this one already and it seemed very, very nice. It's not too soft. So I think that you're gonna be able to get a really nice uh, line with this. Yeah, this is definitely more of like a stiffer formula so i don't think that you can really use this to like fill in your lips because it's not that creamy but for just using as a lip liner i think it's doing exactly what i wanted to do and since the gloss is very very pigmented from when i swatched it i think this is going to be perfect so like i said i did swatch it already and i had to smell it and it smells so good. It smells, I can't put my finger on it, but it has a very sweet and distinct smell. It's something that I feel like I've smelled before, like some kind of a candy or something like that. I really like it. And I'm honestly excited to try this. And I hope that it's not going to be like stingy because I really don't like stingy lip products. But if it's not, I think I'm going to like this formula. This color is so cute. I really like the look of this and now we wait and I can start to feel the tingles a little bit. I hope it doesn't get real bad because like I said, not a huge fan of like plumping lip products, but I think it looks really nice. Uh, I hope this doesn't get like really stingy. Like so far I can deal with it. It's totally fine. It's not like super annoying, but like I would rather it not be there. But if you like lip plumping products, you would probably really like these because the formula is nice. I am a huge fan of the Wet n Wild High Shine liquid lip, no, not, not liquid lipstick, the High Shine glosses, but they're called lipsticks. <laughs> they're basically just a very, very, very opaque gloss and I love those. Those are really, really nice. And this is basically the same formula, but in a lip plumping formula, if that makes sense. So let's see, what is next? Let's do some blush. We're going to do the face first and then we're going to do the eyes last. So... There are three different uh, face products here. We have 
all of them are, well, two of them are blush duos and one have a highlighter in them. So the lightest one is called Relationship Goals and this is the one that does have a highlighter. So I'm probably gonna end up using the highlighter in this one. And then we're gonna use a blush from one of the other ones. Next up is a shade here called Nerd Alert. And these are two very, very, I would say, wearable, but still fun blush colors. I think they did a really, really good job with uh, with the color selections in these because there's something for everybody, I feel like. And the last one here is probably the one that I'm going to use because I like a very intense and strong blush. So I think I'm going to mix the two in this one. This one is called It's All Right. And yeah, I think this is the one that I wanna use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the brushes from the three-piece brush set and here is what they look like. They are really, really cute. I really like these. I love the shapes of these. So I'm gonna take this small one, which is probably a contour brush, but I'm going to use it as a blush brush. It's really, really nice and small and angled. These are like my perfect blush brushes. So I am very excited. When I did swatch these, however, they seemed very pigmented. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just dip into both of these and make sure I tap this off. So you can see there's a lot on my brush here. So I'm gonna go in pretty lightly, but I think that I'm gonna be able to make this work maybe i'll try just a little bit of like the lightest one first and then i can put some of the darker one just like in the upper portion here if i feel like i need a little more depth but this is really cute i love this brush this is i wish all brushes were like this small because i struggle to find face brushes that are nice and small but at the same time fluffy and i feel like this is perfect and i really like the color of that that's very cute so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna first start off by mixing them a little bit because that's what I did on the other side. And then I'm just gonna go into the lightest shade here and put this mostly on the bottom of my cheek. So they don't apply as pigmented as they swatched out, which is good because it means that they are just a little bit easier to work with. And I think that this looks very, very cute. Gonna put a little bit of this on my nose as well because that is also very cute. And I think we're gonna use the highlighter in the other one here and the other one was called Relationship Goals. So we're gonna go into this one. Gonna take that on a very large fluffy eyeshadow brush. This is from Alter Ego, it's the number three brush. And I'm gonna go into the highlighter here and we're gonna see what this one looks like. I feel like it's going to be very, very nice for my skin tone. I guess that is the only thing that I would say that I don't know if this collection is necessarily super inclusive because I mean, obviously this highlighter isn't going to work on everybody and there's only one highlighter in the collection. It's not the most intense. It's definitely a very subtle uh, highlighter, but if you like something that's not super in your face, I think that you're going to like this. I mean, you can definitely build it up and you can definitely see it. Like it definitely gives me, uh, you know, a highlight and it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's just not my favorite kind of highlighting formula, but I think that if you like something that's a little bit more subtle, I think that this might be for you. And obviously these products are all very affordable because they are Wet n Wild, and Wet n Wild is probably the most affordable drugstore brand if I had to guess. I could be wrong, but they're definitely like down there price-wise. So if there's anything in this collection that you are interested in, uh, you probably can't go wrong because like I said, they're quite affordable. So I think we're on to eyeshadows now. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I think we're on the eyeshadows. So I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. And I did swatch out the palette and sadly there is a glitter in here, which I wasn't really expecting. I didn't know that there would be. So I'm not gonna be using the glitter and I don't like glitters personally. I've had bad experiences getting glitters in my eyes and I wouldn't recommend it because it hurts. <laughs> so be careful if you're gonna use glitters. I, like I said, wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but if you are comfortable doing that and you know how to remove it properly and it doesn't bother you, Go ahead because it looks beautiful, but I am not going to put that on my eyes today. We're just gonna be using the powder eyeshadows. And I think the color story in the palette is kind of fun. It's uh, it's not really something I feel like I've seen from Wet n Wild and the mattes in the palette felt real nice, like real nice and soft and smooth. So I am excited. I don't have that much experience using Wet n Wild's eyeshadows, but um, the ones that I have used, I've been like, mildly impressed by, not like blown away, but I've thought that they've all been, you know, definitely usable and very, very nice for the price point. So let's see, what are we gonna do today? There is a black in this palette and you guys know if there's a black in a palette, it's going on my eyes. So we're definitely gonna use the black. I'm very tempted to use the blues because y'all know how much I love my blues, uh, but I'm not really sure. I gotta figure out what it is that I wanna do shimmer-wise. I'm really tempted to use this shimmer. This was definitely the most 
uh, outstanding shimmers out of the bunch here if you you know discount the glitter because obviously the glitter is going to be the craziest out of them but this shimmer was definitely the ones that had the most shine and dimension to it so i'm tempted to use that and i don't know if this is necessarily going to go with the blues so maybe we'll do more of a i don't know more of like a neutral top lid and maybe do like a pop of blue underneath my eye maybe that could be kind of fun there are some very interesting tones of of neutrals in here like this one is a very kind of mustardy, dirty, greenish brown. So maybe we'll use that one as a transition shade and use the black to deepen it up with. And then, like I said, do the blue underneath my eye just to, you know, try out more shades. So it might not be the most cohesive look, but I think we're gonna go ahead and try that. So I'm gonna start with the shade just because I'm like, I'm very intrigued and I don't really know if I have a shade like this in my collection. So we're gonna see what this looks like. Um, I'm gonna take this on my What's Up Beauty R102 brush and I'm just gonna use this as my transition shade here. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. I'm just going to kind of put it down and blend it out. I want to make sure I'm not pulling this out too far because like I said, I do want to use the blue under my eye and I don't want to really blend those together too much in the outer corner of my eye. I want to make sure I get a good distinction between the two. And this is actually going on very nicely. It's blending out super well. It's building up very well as well and i really like the color of it it's a it's a very i don't know how to explain it but to me it's like an interesting neutral and i feel like those are kind of hard to find it's not the most opaque shadow right off the bat but as you can tell it builds very nicely you just need to go in a couple of times and build it up and make sure it's nice and saturated where you want it to be otherwise it could look a little bit patchy if you don't go in with enough because you need to make sure that you have enough shadow on your eye for it to be nice and opaque. But like I said before, also it does blend out very nicely. So I'm curious to see how the black is going to build on top of this. But I do have a black from Wet n Wild that I really like. So I think that they make pretty good blacks from what I remember. I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the blue because that way I can blend the black into both the blue and the shade. So I'm going to use the blue underneath my eye. I'm just going to take a small pencil brush here. This one is from Kaleidos. Not sure if it's available anymore. And I'm going to go into the kind of royally blue matte. And I'm just going to smudge this underneath my eye here. A little bit of kick up in a pan, but that's not really something that bothers me as long as I don't get any fallout on my face. And so far, I think we're doing pretty good. Maybe I'll leave a little bit of room just in my inner corner here so that we can use the lighter blue. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take the same brush, just gonna kind of wipe it off and we're gonna use this one right here, just in the front portion. Just gonna pop this right here. I mean, these are nice and pigmented. I am not having any problems at all so far. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go into the black, I'm gonna switch brushes, I'm gonna use my Refer 13 because it is very nice and small and precise. And I'm gonna start in the outer corner of my eye. This shade does have like those little glitter particles in it, but I don't think that they're going to show up on the eyes. At least I'm not seeing any glitters on my eyes so far, which is good. Normally I don't really like uh, mattes that have glitters in them because I just find it to be a little pointless but I guess it's supposed to make the shades easier to blend or something I don't know and it does look kind of cool in the pan but other than that they kind of seem a little pointless but this is a very nice and like black black you can definitely tell that this is very very black so I'm just gonna start in the outer corner of my eye here and then once I have that down where I want it I'm just gonna use very small circular motions just bring this through my crease as much as it is that I want it to be. I don't want it to be super intense in the inner portion, but I do want to have a little extra depth just all the way through here. So a little goes a very long way with this black. You really don't need a lot on your brush to get nice impact, and I really like that. So I'm just going to go back and forth with the mattes a little bit and make sure that I have a good blend before we use any of the shimmers. I think this looks quite good. So what I'm gonna do next is, do I wanna use one or two shimmers? Are there two that can kind of go together here? I think there's really only one that I wanna use. I could use a little bit of this, but I feel like I just wanna use this one. 
because there aren't any darker. I kind of wish that there was a darker shimmer to sort of tie in some of these lighter shimmers, but that's probably just personal preference. I'm going to just use this one and I'm going to, let's see, what brush do I want to use that with? Let's do this one from BK Beauty. This is the 203 brush. I'm going to just spray this. Usually I would use my glitter primer, but I have not unpacked from my little trip this weekend. So we're just gonna spray it here and we're gonna see what this looks like. And like I said, when I swatched it, it looked beautiful. So I'm just gonna kind of put this all over my lid here. So it's a little bit of a sheer formula. It takes uh, a bit of building up, but I think that I'm gonna be able to get this very nice and opaque. And you can see it's a very, very shiny and sparkly formula, which I don't see a lot from drugstore brands. And this looks beautiful. I'm not doing a cut crease or anything like that. I'm just kind of putting it on my lids and blending it into my crease and my outer corner. That is a really, really pretty shimmer. I can see a little bit of like green in it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but yeah, that's really pretty. Just taking a little bit more of that black to make sure that my outer corner is blended into that shimmer. Yeah, I think this looks really nice. Is there an inner corner shade in here? A little bit of kick up in the pan, so it kind of flies everywhere, but that's okay. I'm gonna take this shade here, which is a very basic champagne. I guess you would say it's not the most interesting, but I think it's going to make for a nice inner corner highlight. So I'm just gonna pop that right here. And I think that's gonna be it for the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly finish off. Um, actually, we are going to try out the mascara. I forgot that there was a mascara. I'm just gonna do some liquid liner real quick. I also did a bit of blue in my waterline. This is Lead in Lagoon by Fenty. So let's see, I need to find my lash curler. Where did I put that? Oh, right here, because that is quite important. I always like to curl my lashes before I do mascara. So we're gonna try out this mascara. And the wand on it looks exactly like the kind of wands that I like because I like the plasticky spiky wands that a lot of people hate. So I'm quite excited about this. I do have the other new mascara from Wet n Wild. Where did I put that? I don't know, but I have it and it wasn't my favorite just because I didn't really like the wand on it. So we're gonna test out this one and see what this one is like. So let's go. I have quite high expectations when it comes to my mascara. So uh, there's definitely a good chance that I'm not going to like it because honestly, I don't like most mascaras. So I'm just gonna kind of work on this and see if I can get this to be uh, the way that I want it to be. So far, I'm seeing a little bit of, a little bit of lengthening not a lot of volumizing. It's not, I can already tell that this is not going to be my favorite mascara because it's not doing as much as I would like for it to do. But if you like a mascara that's a little more subtle, you might like this one. I can definitely get a decent result with this though. It just takes a little bit of time and a little bit of building. And I don't really like having to spend like five minutes trying to build up my mascara if I can avoid it. So like I said, not, wow, <laughs> very smooth on that. Not my favorite, but I can see maybe using this for like my lower lashes because the brush is really, really nice and precise. Yeah, I like this a lot for a lower lash mascara. I think it's doing a better job there than it is on my top lashes. I'm just waiting for this little dot here to dry so that I can scrape it off. That is how I remove my mascara smudges. So let's see, I think that was it for the collection. Let's talk a little bit though. I think that so far everything has performed really well. I haven't had any problems with any of it. Uh, my only nitpicky thing is just with Wet n Wild. I really wish that they would stop with the, 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 the sticker things. Like it's just, it's so annoying to open and it makes a mess and it's really hard to get like a clean, like get this properly cleaned off and it's just sometimes it ends up being sticky and I just I feel like it really cheapens the products not that they're not cheap already you know what I'm trying to say like I just I don't like the sticky things that they put on their packaging it's really annoying uh, but I guess it's just because if they're on display in drugstores they have to be uh, sealed and I guess that's why they do it but I wish that there would be just a better way of I don't know maybe instructions on how to remove it. I don't know, but it's just, it's really annoying. <laughs> That's like my only issue, I guess. Uh, same with the eyeshadow palette. It was really hard to just 
get this open because of the, the plastic and also I'm having a hard time opening because of my nails. But that is, you know, first world problems, obviously. But I didn't have any problems at all with the quality of these. I think that they are they are nice. And if you are looking for a collection that is uh, from Saved by the Bell, I think this is a really nice one. Uh, I do also want to test out the setting spray, but I'm just kind of waiting for my, uh, my mascara to dry a little bit. I'm going to, let's see if I can scrape this off. Is this dry now? Yeah, I think this is dry. So I'm just going to take a spoolie here. And this is, like I said, the best way to remove mascara smudges without... Oh, maybe it wasn't dry. That I should have waited a little bit longer. But if you just wait until it's dry, you can scrape it off and you're not going to have any kind of residue or smudging on your skin. I'm just going to cover this up with a little bit of concealer because obviously I'm not going to walk around with black on my face for the rest of the day. Okay, I think this is fine. Uh, let's try out the setting spray. So this one is called Wanna Wrestle and here is what the spray bottle looks like. Let's see what the sprayer is like. Oh. It doesn't have much of a scent to it. I really like the sprayer. Like you can really go in heavy with this and not have it like drench your face and I really like that. That feels really, really nice. It doesn't taste very good. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. Don't talk while you spray. <laughs> Wait until it's dried. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, I can't say anything about the spray. I can't review this. I think the sprayer is really nice if you're looking for an affordable spray with a good mister. This might be it. I mean, this is the kind of mister that I really like. I don't really use setting sprays ever unless I feel like I'm looking too powdery. Uh, but this is going to be nice to have in my collection. I'm not mad about having this at all. I think this is... They did a really good job with this. So yeah, that's gonna be it. Um, thank you Wet n Wild for sending me the collection. I really do appreciate it. It was really fun to play with. Thank you to you guys for watching. I will link the collection down below if you wanna go check it out. If you wanna see some more Wet n Wild content, I will make a playlist for you and I'll put that right there if you wanna go check that out. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video.